Tonight, a study in the Portland Fire and Rescue is giving us a deeper look at just how understaffed they are and the resources they say they need to sufficiently serve the community. Fox 12's Drew Marine spoke with their union president about what the study revealed. Add 16 full-time positions, fully staff Engine 23 with two more crew members, and add a new fire station in southeast Portland. These are just a few recommendations from a lengthy study done on Portland Fire and Rescue, which highlighted their staff can't accommodate the growing population in Portland. When we drove around out here, you saw lots of empty fields, forests, and mostly just single family homes. Now you drive around and you see four or five story buildings where they're putting in apartments and uh, you know, low, low income housing, which is, which is fantastic. That's how we're gonna solve part of this housing crisis by creating affordable housing. But we forgot to put more fire stations in there. The Portland Firefighters Association President Isaac McLennan says now a majority of firefighters are working anywhere from 50 to 90 hour weeks because they're so understaffed. If they don't agree to overtime, McLennan says they get written up. He says their crews should also be getting more money for their hard work. Before they go out, they finish their 24 hour shift from 8 in the morning until 8 in the morning the next day. When they're ready to go home about 7.30 in the morning, they get a phone call that, hey, you're to report to station 15 for 24 hours. So they got to figure out, like, what if I was going home to take care of my kids? And the response from the city is, well, I guess we're going to have to reprimand you because you disobeyed a direct order. It's like, that's, that to me is not a plan. So what we're asking the city to do is come to the table. McLennan says an example of how this impacts Portlanders is station 23. They only have two people staffed there, so when they went to an apartment fire in July, they had to wait for another fully staffed engine with equipment to get there and put the fire out. I realized it was spreading really fast um, and I needed to get out of there. So I grabbed my cat, stuffed him in a carrier and ran out. Timothy Hemphill lives at that apartment complex covered by Station 23. He says when that fire broke out in July, he noticed the crew had to wait for backup through no fault of their own. He hopes they get more people hired so firefighters don't become even more burned out. Sitting there watching it get worse and worse and worse and worse while, you know, he's running to get the, to the hydrant. But like I said, he didn't even get there until, you know, halfway, halfway through it, basically. Once they got going, you know, they were quick and efficient. And, you know, once I saw them run up the stairs, it felt like hardly any, you know, it was like, oh, I guess they're here. And then, you know, it, it got dealt with. Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon. We reached out to Commissioner Hardesty's office, who oversees the Fire Bureau. She says her office has worked with Portland Fire and Rescue to conduct the City Gate study and sent us a statement that reads in part, quote, We have the best firefighters in the country, and they need a budget that matches that. I hope this evaluation will help us persuade my colleagues and the public that we need to increase funding to Portland Fire and Rescue for the safety of our community and our employees.